You don't want to get the flagpole dirty. Other people have to touch it too, you know. Just think yeah, of your team. Yeah. Exactly. At least use a Kleenex or something afterwards. Common GWC courtesy, is you know? going to bed. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. How come we're always waiting on Clamp for stuff? Jeez. Okay, never mind. We got him readied up. We will be seeing CTF7 kick off here once again. On blue, Swoops, Clamp, OK, Brick, and Sean. On red, Artanis, Jones, Lulu, and Sparks. We're going to watch Jones out of the gate as he WRJs over to grab the red armor. And now he's waiting for his little pummel action. He's like, come on, come on, come on, spawn. Oh, you're not going to spawn. <laughs> oh, you showed up behind me. And you really in my in my ass, so now I don't have any armor. I hate you, Mr. SDA. Eat rockets to the face, you bastard. All right, there we go. All right, I'm done. Sorry. Th that's probably not, not what was going through Jones' mind. He's probably like, I'm owning, I'm owning. I'm not owning, I'm not. Okay, now I'm owning, I'm owning. Oh, uh, owning again. Oh, uh, oh, uh, not owning. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Swoops is like, oh yeah. Double shaft. I'm sorry, wait. Jahar, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing a little better now, actually. <laughs> but we're just about one minute in here. We're going to be seeing Swoop come on in and with the help of his teammate doing some solid O on the red base. We're going to be seeing red, red armor come up in five seconds. And Swoop is going to be getting that steal along with the last few seconds of the regen. We hear a lot of damage going on outside. Clamp does take one one down, so that means there's going to be a full base of people <laughs> totally ready to shut down Swoops. But Sean comes out and cleans up the mess, and we're, but we're going to be seeing Sparks getting that initial flag grab. And he, and he does a nice little double back to, to fake out. Wow. And wow, there's nobody chasing him. What the fuck? Wow. He didn't even take a single point of damage. Whoops. Oh, that's how you let one go. Clamp is a little late to the party. <laughs> He's like, Oh, am, am I supposed to be defending that? <laughs> wow, Sparks just manhandled Clamp there, so... Uh, Sparks wants to get number two under his belt. And look at this brick with his back turned again, because here comes... Is that Lulu? Yeah. Noise. Very noise. <laughs> Oh, 10 health. Oh, wow. Lulu gets away. N nice little uh, cheeky pummel action there. Yeah, SD will knock it out of the water. But with that quick early cap, the red team probably has to feel pretty confident at the moment because, um, you know, they, they pretty much got a freebie, Jahar. I mean, it's, I don't think we've seen that in all of our CTF casting um, this year. I, I, I don't think that we have seen an untouched cap, I want to say. Uh, who I know there was some at Quakecom, but you know, to be fair, pretty much all the CTF we've been covering since the beginning I, of I meant like 2010 this year, has like 2010. Been all your base, yeah, 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 yeah. Mostly it's been all your base, and those games have been historically pretty chaotic. So that was, yeah, definitely an outlier. Clamp is going to be stealing away Mega Health, but. LG from both ends, right in that little corner. I mean, that's the corner where if you're not in and out of there in a jiffy, uh, it's going to be the place you're going to die. Yeah, we got, we got some interesting uh, back and forth here in IRC between Demon and Dude. Basically, uh, Demon is, is uh, wondering why he's not getting picked, although he's got a hundred ping. So I can understand why, but he's also talking some shit, and two's like, well, with comments like that, why would we want to pick you? <laughs> you know, not only are you the player with a hundred ping, which puts whoever picks you at a disadvantage, but then also you're going to be kind of talking some shit, so I can kind of understand that. But uh, I'll let that drama unfold. Should be, uh, should be pretty interesting. See, I was just gonna leave it in the gutter. Yeah, but okay. Pretty much. You had to fish it out. <laughs> With my teeth. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I hope you be brushing. <laughs> yes. 
All right, so okay, back well, to the Sparks game. Okay, is going to be getting a grab. This is not going to be a flawless pickup this time around. Swoop is actually going to be LG nice. right when he goes for that rocket oh, jump. So, Sparks wow, almost that flag has again. not been Oh! Clamp okay, oh, there's 16 wow. health across the center. He's down and out, but it's going to be Brick with a quick grab. Lulu, though, getting it returned at just the last second possible. SDA going to try his luck. 30 health. Not very far. He gets naded in the ass. Wow. So all that stood between them and the cap was a nade? That's impressive. Wow. Uh, anywho, but we're going to be seeing Jones with that uh, regen stacking up quite good. And no armor is going to be up for him, but he still has 85 points to his name. He's going to be getting across mid without anything going on. That means that at the base itself, he's going to have quite a few players to contend with here. And I'm wondering, is this going to be by himself? Oh, wow! Nice move. Was that? Okay, tell me that wasn't Brick. Jones brick with the, uh, just RJ past everybody. And it's going to bring this thing yeah. home. That's number two for the red team. But I was talking about the guy on the on the blue team who uh, had like the three second reaction time. Like, oh, there's a guy in the base. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go take a look. Cause I, maybe Brick is like high or something. Um, I'd be kind of curious. <laughs> It's come down by Sparks. Well, he has the highest score on his team right now, and he's rocking 11 and 3, so he's been playing defense, but it's not so good when, you know, the players could just get in and out without you even noticing, um, which is not happening to that extent, of course, but as a general rule of thumb. But right now, 2 on 0, only 6 minutes in here. Uh, Clamp is going to be doing some damage in mid, but Lulu is going to be picking up the rail frag there. Now, I'm going to stick with Brick for a moment, because I, I do want to see what's going on. That is a bit odd because uh, I would say it's out of character for him. Uh, we, you know, we've seen him enough time in in other games that um, uh, it's kind of unexpected. Teabagging the health pickup. <laughs> and he let he let the crew go here. <laughs> what? It's like, wh where did he go? Yeah, he just kind of <laughs> lost him. He just kind of lost him. So now our is going to bring it home. Okay, so there's a little bit of a um, him, and now I can't see him. Yeah, um, I don't know. A lot of that was just like Brick is trying to predict stuff, and he's just getting it wrong. Which you know, is not necessarily a bad thing to try to predict. Um, it pays off a lot, but maybe there's just zero communication, um, and and that that's becoming an issue here. I and mean, that's another cap there for Sparks. Um, yeah, I mean. Uh, Maybe Brick is just so used to having a certain level of communication that he doesn't, and so you know, he's basically just having to guess and gamble and say, "Okay, well, let me let me just uh, imagine the carrier's going this way, and he's not, so that's a cap. You can't really do anything out after it, you know." Um, that being said, you know Brick also is not necessarily um, really kind of hot on the on the trail of the carrier. You know, he he's not really chasing; he's trying to intercept and. That does kind of lead to a gamble. Here comes Sparks trying to get out. Almost not. And I think that was a rocket jump right into a grenade. Yeah. A and bit. so we saw a multitude of explosions there. But Artanis is going to be still playing very heavy D. And speaking of that, eight minutes in, taking a look at what he's been doing, what he's been up to. Sixteen frags, three deaths. Uh, someone does get away with the flag. He's going to be meeting a little bit of opposition. He's going to be having to pay some attention to Sean, so the flag is going to get away low. But Sparks is going to be able to hop in and still have a really great stack here after stealing away the Mega Health. Because look at that, the base is completely... Has anybody even seen him? Oh my... <laughs> And he I'm, passed I'm, their I'm trying to keep the worlds from colliding in IRC, but we are seeing a, a really, really nice standoff here. Brick, though, extremely hurt, and he's like, Hey, guys, you want to come take it the flag? Because I got eight health. Okay, thanks. Jones with the regen, looking for basically anyone to shoot. He's going to get uh, railed off. Nice shot by SDA. Clamp OK is going to pick up that regen and go on the offense and try to get that flag back. Excellent. Nice, excellent. Oh, and there's the red armor, so this is going to be a really big attack. He's looking, looking, looking. Oh, look what I found! Hi there, Sparks. Oh, there's the double team. Ooh. Able to, in, in order to keep Sparks alive. And that regen alive. is not going to be picked up anytime soon. 
I wonder if Sparks was having a flashback right there as he was outside of uh, the portal and thinking, should I go in? Should I head? Oh, fuck my life. There's Clamp OK with the Telefrag to give 